There are no strings on me, my children! Neither are there on today's offering from the long box, which features some macabre marionettes for your delight. The Puppet Master. The Puppet Master films are a delightful group of movies about deadly little puppets created by André Toulon, a puppeteer and craftsman who fled Nazi Germany with a secret formula that can bring puppets to life. Over the course of 11 movies... Yes, I count Puppet Master vs. Demonic Toys. It's got puppets with cyborg upgrades. The puppets and their creator have been depicted in various lights. Sometimes they are villains, sometimes heroes, but at all times they are entertaining. And thus we have this series from lesser known publisher Action Lab, made this very year. The first three issues are The Offering, which begins with the lovable little scamps setting a homeless man on fire in the Bodega Bay Inn. Two months later, a group of college kids arrive at the inn for the standard horror movie fare of getting drunk, partying, and appeasing the spirits of the house. Yes, it seems all of the happenings of the hotel have made it a bit of a tourist attraction, as people leave dolls as offerings to the place for good tidings, for safety, for pregnancy. But perhaps they should have brought some of their own, as two kids go off to sex themselves up, only to have tunnelers screw them instead. After finding one of their group crushed by Pinhead, it, no, not that one, the two remaining couples argue about what to do, some wanting to leave while the others wish to search for their missing friends. Ultimately, they split up into two pairs, each with a set of car keys to make a run for it if they find the others or if they need to escape quickly. I'll grant you this, my children. They may be stupid enough to stay and look for the friends that now have extra holes in their heads, but one of them at least has the good sense to point out the logic of why they should leave. One pairing finds themselves having to contend with Torch and Six Shooter, getting a bit burned up in the process, but the other two find the majority of puppets. And that Cory, one of said pairing, is their master. Cory's girlfriend, Beth, is understandably upset about this and runs off. Cory sends the puppets after her, Jester eventually locating her and warning her to stay quiet. While he pursues her as well, Cory explains that he has been diagnosed with stomach cancer and that he came here with as many dolls as he could, hoping it would grant him a miracle. However, it didn't work. Because the puppets had only just come back. You know, when they torched that homeless guy. Cory figured out that what they wanted was not dolls as an offering, but life. He has to kill people to give himself life. And thus he stabs her. He begs the puppets now to heal him, to remove his stomach cancer. And so Blade cuts his stomach open. Andre Toulon's spirit, still inside of the Decapitron puppet, emerges and apologizes for all of this, talking about how he regrets having originally put his friends into these puppets, that it is not the life you want for your friends. And so Beth, as the new puppet master, orders Toulon to put Cory's soul into the yarn doll she brought as a tribute. Ending the story with her getting her own slow revenge on Cory for all the people he has killed. The Puppet Master movies can be a bit uneven, but this little story shows how such great ideas can be used in comics, giving us a group of slashers that prove that the best puppeteers never use strings. <laughs> uh...